covered in different pictures and arts. Boyana Church, the 11th and 13th monument included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hello, I'm playing this now. This will be played at the beginning of the film, of the video. I want to you know, stay behind it till the end and see whether I recommend a thumbs up or a thumbs down or eh for the uh, this video for the 25 euros to do the excursion to the monastery and to uh, the church, the Buena Church. Stay to the end and find out how I experienced it and what I recommend it. Good morning, everyone. It's 7.30 and it's uh, the last full day that I'm going to be in Sevilla. Tomorrow's a travel day. I'll be leaving at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'll probably have to get up around probably about uh, 3 o'clock to get a uh, taxi, book a taxi for about half 3 to get to the airport at 4. That's tomorrow, but today I have something special planned for us. I'm going to take you with me. We're going to go to Rio Monastery and Boyana Church. I booked it. It leaves at uh, 9 o'clock at the... Uh, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It was 25 euros and it's a whole eight hour day. So we're gonna drive up to the monastery. I think it takes about three hours. We're gonna spend a couple hours there on the way back. We're gonna to go to uh, the church, I believe, for half an hour and then back into uh, the cathedral. And as we're walking by, here's some nice pastries again. Hmm. I have to get breakfast and a coffee, so I wonder if I should go get that. Well, I don't want to sit walking around the street eating it, but the pastry is really good, especially the one that has the, the white creamy cheese in the, in the inside the dough cooked in the pastry, the fuel pastry. Amazing. So it's about a 25 minute walk to the cathedral from my uh, hostel. And uh, let's see what this day brings us and what it's like to take the tour up to the monastery. I was just thinking, I may as well pick up those uh, pastries now. Maybe not to eat for now, but to eat on the, the journey and up at the, uh, the monastery. Someone said that the, there's not great selection of food up there maybe, and if it is, it's very touristy and stuff. So maybe as a backup, I'll pick up two of those uh, pastries with the cheese inside and we'll keep it in my backpack. I brought my backpack today anyways. So here's the Cake and these are the ones I was talking about. Um, yeah, I'll get to. Uh, do we. Uh, these ones? Two? Three. Two. Thank you. Okay, so we got these two lovely babies. They're quite substantial. So they were three left each, so 150. But they're they're sizable snacks. So I'm gonna put them in my backpack and we'll have that. I'm gonna go pick up uh, some water or maybe some mineral, you know, maybe a Coke Zero or something and or an orange juice for the journey as well. So that'll be enough to keep me uh, in substance in case there's nothing that I see, but we'll see. Let's see what happens when we get up to the, uh, the monastery and I'd see what kind of treats they have to offer, souvenirs and stuff. I just took out an extra 50 lev just to make sure I have enough. So, and I have to also factor in, I need money for tomorrow morning for the taxi. Uh, somebody said about to go from the hostel to the airport it's uh it's 11 euros which is a fair you know it's about a 25 minute ride so it's not too bad but you have to book it on with the app we'll take a look inside there uh go 
Cobra. I don't know what that says. Hibiscus. Try that. Use my tea and a bottle of water. Four. Let me eat two years. Okay. Secured the iced tea and the water. The water was one lev and the iced tea was two, so it's three euros, uh, three uh, lev. So it's uh, 150 for those two, which is not bad. Uh, probably cost you that for just the one back home so I'm gonna put this in the bag and continue on our stroll so we should be okay for um, snacks and stuff now we just get a coffee and something for breakfast before we wait for the bus which should leave at 9 thanks again everyone for watching and supporting me and uh, you know help me achieve my monetization I want to give a shout out to our my first uh, channel member uh, Derek Derek Rossiter uh, he's in New Zealand I think he's originally from Wexford but he lives in New Zealand so he's been watching my videos um, so shout out he's the first one who's gonna be the second member want to get that membership up or if you want don't want to do the whole membership thing like it starts one euro I think 99 a month or something but you could do a super thanks too it's as if you're buying me a coffee and that it helps support my travels and that because I'm uh, pretty much all self-funded so far. Uh, it takes a while for YouTube for the ad revenue to ca catch up with us, but you know, really enjoying it. We're having a great time traveling around. I hope you are enjoying my vlogs. Feel free to comment places you want to go. Like I said, next we're going to Azerbaijan in April. I have a few other things locally around Wexford I want planned. And then of course we have, uh, I'm really gearing up towards trying to get to Pakistan for September. So that's where I'll need the help for because it it'll probably cost a little bit more outside of my normal budget, but we'll see. We're gonna make it happen. And thanks again. Hope you're enjoying this. The weather is supposed to be beautiful again today. I think it's supposed to be around uh, eight, uh, 16 degrees, but it might be colder in the sun. Uh, in um, might be colder when we get up into the mountains. I don't know, we'll see. That's why I brought my jacket, just to be safe. Came into a familiar place, Costa Coffee. So they have stuff here. Look, they actually have beer here. The water is $2.90. So that's like three times the price in the shop. And they have some like, yogurts here. Yogurts and berries. They're at uh, five, $5.80. But they look good. I might take one. I'll take one of these, $5.80. And uh, Americano, medium Americano is $5.40. 11 euro. 11, so it's six euros. Uh, Americano? Which more medium? Medium. Medium. Yes, please. What's your takeaway? For here. Five for... That is the yogurt too. Okay. Hello, I'm Eleven twenty, yeah. Seven. There's the Let's see. Yeah. 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 Let me step in the chair here. Wait for my coffee. Man, here's a medium coffee. Jeez, I'd hate to see what the large is like. But, you know, for 11.20, it's high for uh, Bulgarian prices. But for uh, 
you know, comparable to what we would have in Ireland. It's very cheap because that's like uh, about five euros for a massive boatload of coffee and then the yogurt uh, with the nuts and the berries and that looks really good. So I'll uh, just enjoy this and then we'll make our way towards the uh, cathedral. The coffee was grand. Um, just uh, I've taken a different tour towards the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It's going through a different area slightly than I worked before. Still have those yellow bricks all over the place. But I looked at my, co my uh, phone and it said it was actually minus one. Now it doesn't feel like that right now. But uh, it's a nice uh, day and like I said it's going to be up to 17 or 18 degrees today. So right now it's minus one, but you see the sun breaking through the trees. And then you can see at the end, the cathedral, the trees are obscuring it a bit, but like it's a handy little walk. Here's another part with some more statues. Like I've never seen a place that have so many statues and monuments and that. The building's like definitely worth your, uh, your visit. There's an old car with a head sticking out of it. Your man with a shovel. There's a few statues here, eh? There's some dogs playing there. And we'll just keep walking on until we get to the wards of Cathedral. So this is the little bus, mini bus we're taking. Got in first, so I'll be sitting right there in the front. It's not a bad little bus. Should be for a comfortable ride anyways. stopping off we're about five minutes away so we're stopping for a toilet break and a coffee visitor information center nature park Rila monastery oh. so we have arrived it's 11 o'clock and he collects us at uh, half one. So here we are at the, uh, the monastery. Now I believe you have to pay an entrance of like four lav to get in. And uh, here's the building on the outside. I guess we'll start inside. There's some walkways you could do too. But I'll just go in here and we'll pay the entrance fee of the four. Here's the Top of it. Very nice. It's 
a little cooler than it is in Sofia. Here's the entrance way. See the snow peaked mountains in the background? I'd say it's about 10 degrees as opposed to the 18 that would be in Sofia right now. It's a little chilly, I had to put my jacket back on. It's not too bad. We'll just walk around and see what it has to offer. It's icy on the floor, you have to watch your steps. There's the bookshop there. Let's start with the uh, this building itself. Let's see if it take a selfie. Let's see how that goes. There's all sorts of. There's a shop over there too. Wow! Well, look at the uh, the artwork. Stop, no cameras inside, no backpacks, so I have to take that off. So I'll turn it off and I'll go inside. Okay, just say it's you're not allowed to have cameras inside there. It's too bad because inside it's all gilted, I have gold and definitely worth coming in and seeing and the, the ceilings are all done with all different art designs oh here's a looks like the devil interesting this is covered in different pictures of art Like I said, you have to go inside and see inside, so it's definitely worth the trip up here. I think that one's Adam and Eve up there. Wow. i take some pictures with my camera. <laughs> like I said, here's a shop you get some more souvenirs. There's a bookstore we're going to go take a look later. Like the amount of artwork on that building is immense. Adult Entrance 5 Lab. Let's see where you're. I wonder if it's the museum that's the entrance is the 5 Lab. I haven't seen anyone collecting money yet, so I'll walk around here. A lot of ice still on the snow on the ground here. So you have to watch where you're stepping. And here's a fountain with some water. Like I said, it's a pity you can't get in there. Oh you can drink it and take a look at the Cold. And there's some money in there. Ecclesiastical and Historical Museum. Eight thirty to four thirty every day. No cameras again in the uh, museum, so we'll bypass that for now. So 
the uh, the right up here was 25 euros. Here's the mushrooms. It was 25 euros. With this. you just look on uh, on Google at uh, on things to do in uh, Sofia, and it pops up. And then you book it on just through your phone. Uh, there's three different ones that were available this morning. This one for the monastery and then stops by the, the church. There's another one that goes to the cave and then the monastery and the church. And then there's another one that actually goes to another town. That one's a 12 and a half hour one. And I think that one was like 35 euros or something like that. So, or 40 euros. Snow machine. <laughs> There's another water fountain there. Staff only. There's even more pictures on the side. Like that's highly decorated. Just too bad you couldn't bring the camera in. Uh, walking into the monasteries and the floors is not allowed. Okay, so can't go up there. So I guess there's monks here. Services. Post office. We'll go over towards that corner. We'll go up here. And then uh, walk towards the corner, see what's up there. Maybe we'll go outside and do that tour at that hiking trail. And see what's there and then stop and get a something to eat maybe. So monastery bookstop. Albums, horse carts, icons and crosses. And apparently honey. There's more. It's basically all the floors above is the residential area. See the bells there in that tower right beside the clock. There's a big door. The old monastery kitchen. So I guess this is a map. It has the heights of the mountains. 27, uh, 27, 31 meters. Seems to be the highest. Let's take a picture from here. From my phone. We'll just keep walking this way. And then we'll go around to the air side and maybe go up that, that trail I saw just before the entrance on the opposite side of the entrance. There seems to be a walking trail. See what that goes. Here's some more decorations. There's a big door. Here's the water in the back there. The water must be cold because it's all covered in ice and snow.
little bridge here you can walk across these little irons. Yeah. There's some more souvenirs you can get. Little shops. This is on the back part of it. Now I brought my pastries and I'm glad I did. I'll have that with the juice in it. I don't really need any more souvenirs. I think we've got some uh, enough for everything. Uh, Hotel, restaurant, and barbecue. Down there. Donuts, souvenirs. And then their little place there. I wonder if they mind if I have my own cakes and have a, just a tea or coffee with that. Let's walk around here for a bit. I guess you get it in the window there. No drones. Jeez. They want you to have drones or. Very restrictive on the old uh, social media then. I'd say a drone would be lovely flying over and you get to see, capture the whole place, but they must have the reasons. goes to. I guess it's a road for cars and that because you see the signs. Look at the mountains up in front of us. You can really feel the fresh air blowing on your face like it's really it's like a cold fresh but not bitterly cold. It's just you know your life that's all. Look at the mountains. Here we back. I decided to stop here, not at the little restaurant thing, because they're offering similar stuff that I have, but obviously mine's already bought and paid for. So what I'm gonna do is open up my bag and take out my pastry, cheese pastry in there. A little bit of that, and I have my uh, water, or I have the iced tea, which I brought. So we'll give this a, a sample. This is a different one than I had the other day. So you break it off. Doesn't have the cheese inside it. No, no, no. Sugar cake on top. Yes, 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 yes. It's like a little bit of 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 a little different. I'm not sure if I bought it on that. Let's see. I'll just finish this up now while I'm in the sun. Enjoying the scenery and having my bread with the uh, the iced tea. They had the, the pasty bread there and uh, some of the iced tea. We ate about half that loaf of bread thing and about half the tea so keep that in for later. Let's keep going around. Go outside the front of it and we're gonna see that that trail. Maybe walk up that trail and see what that's all about if there's a story behind it.
I've seen this part before. I'm gonna turn it off now, go outside the front part. Okay, so this is outside the front door again. We just came. This is where we were dropped off when we first arrived. And they'll collect us at 1.30. I think they've already gone. So, we'll just walk. See what this trail takes us. Please, can someone take a taxi up here? It must cost a bit. It's another type of shop there. No picking of flowers. No shooting. No garbage. No fires. Stretch your legs. Enjoy the scenery. It's a nice sunny day. Uh, my jacket's opened. Um, it's not really needed. But I have a t-shirt on, so if I take off my jacket, it'll probably get a little cold in the arms. So I'll keep it uh, just on my back and opened up. So this is a little bit of an incline. how far it goes up. <coughs> yeah, so two and a half hours at the monastery, probably a bit long. Well, I guess, you know, you go into the church, you could do the uh, museum, but it looked like a small little roll. sign hello hello <clears throat> getting in the old cardio well it's not that far wonder who James Boucher is It's very peaceful up here. It'd be a nice place to be buried, I guess. There's a bench here to sit. And look at the mountains in the background. something to 1920. And it's a little faded. So I don't know if even the camera will pick it up translation. So if you know in the comment section, let me know who he was and how he got to become buried up here. So we're looking the monastery. Right, just gonna chill out now for a little bit. And we'll keep going. pretty accurate I guess because it was a little mumbled but basically gives us an idea who it is 
Thanks to good old Google Translate. Here's a little friend. Okay, so now we're in at the uh, Boyana Church, just outside of Sofia. It's about 20 past 3. Um, dates the 10th and 11th century, so 1259 to 1845. And then we'll go see. Opening times, November to March, April that. Tickets on sale till 4.45. Wonder where we get tickets. Boyana Church National Museum. Look at the big tree. It's a sequoia, a giant redwood. Planted in 17, uh, 1907 by King Ferdinand. It's not as big as they're in Canada though. No dogs allowed. No food and drinks. Here's those token thingies. Way in the church. I remember I got one at the uh, cathedral. Okay. Okay. If you have the body ticket here. Okay. okay. Let's get a ticket and then I'll go to the bathroom. There's a bathroom here. So. Okay, so I got the ticket. It was 10 lev, which is like 5 euros. First, I'm going to go to the little man's room. So, we'll see what that access gets me. Hopefully, they can let me take pictures. But Okay, so, here we go. Let's see what the grounds have. So a quick recap so far. Um, would I recommend it, the tour? I think in a sunny day, it would, like in the middle of summer with all the greenery, it'd be really lovely. Um, my recommendations would be if you, if you have the time, the extra days in your trip, but if you're tight schedule and there's a lot of other stuff to see around, um, around Sofia, I'd do that. Uh, unless you can get up here with a group, because I think up at the, uh, the monastery, a max of an hour you'd need. Like, we were there for two and a half hours, a bit overkill, and max of an hour would have been enough. A lot of trees. Like, again. The... Oh, there's a drone up there. Your man has a drone. For admission and lectures. So here's the church, I'd imagine. Boyana Church, 11th and 13th. Monument included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. I thought it was sounding like bees before. <laughs> Just the drones. I'm not a big uh, user or fan of the drones. Try, I had one I tried for a bit, but I found it was too bloody hard to maneuver in that. So I stick with the old traditional GoPro. get in. Oh. Is that the entrance? Oh. Can I come in with camera? No. No? No camera is inside. Oh. Can put it in your pocket or in your Hey? 
You can put it in your bag, but don't use it inside. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately there's no photos out. There was like old, old, old paintings on the walls. Like they were part of the, the mosaic of the building. They're really neat. But I'm going to save you 10 love or 5 euros. You know, you, you can't take pictures. and It's very short. It's like this, well, you see yourself this, the size of the building. It's kind of small, so I don't know. Unless you're really into... Uh, like paintings, murals that are on the wall, like that are, you know, over a thousand years old. Yeah, it might be something you'd look for, but on the whole, I'd say it's a very long day. You got the, uh, the monastery, which you could do it in really a half an hour. And then this takes five minutes and, you know, I don't know, I probably would have in hindsight give it a miss myself um, unless of course you have a rental car and you can come up here with yourself and then you can spend the time that you want and and then go so no it's a lovely little garden area but tiny church and you know I'd save the uh, the 25 euros and spend an extra day inside Sofia getting around the city because the city has wonderful things for you to do there Okay, let's sign off for now.